Hey guys, so I'm in here with you again. Uh, just doing a very quick little uh, detail video. Uh, showing you guys how I get the, such sharp points on my work. Uh, I had a cu couple customers from the fair, or from a craft fair rather, uh, ask me how I get such sharp points. And since they weren't scrollers, explaining to them didn't really help them very much. But, you know, you guys who subscribe to my videos, uh, a couple of you are scrollers yourself. So you might already do this technique, or maybe it's... Something you haven't thought of before. Hopefully it helps. Alright, so back again. I'm trying to use my digital camera instead of my cell phone because when it comes to detail work, if I zoom in my cell phone, it kind of fuzzes out a little bit. So I'm taking this um, video in HD so we'll see how well the, the uh, detail comes out. But I've had a question from a lot of my um, customers asking how I get the extremely sharp points in my detail work. And to be perfectly honest, it's not that hard. Uh, it's all in about how you come, up, come about doing it. And text messages aside. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'll show you guys, or at least the process I use to get extremely sharp points on detail and it's probably a no-brainer. You guys probably figured this out for yourself, but um, I'm using the smallest blade that I use. This is a this is a uh, Pegasus number two skip tooth, so that I can get really nice, sharp, fine lines. So let's see. Now this thing will only take a nine-minute video in HD because of its uh, limited memory size. So bear with me, and away we go. Okay, now instead of just spinning the piece and rounding off the uh, tip of this point, what I like to do is back the blade back through the project to my starting hole. That way I can spin it around and back the blade back into the same cut. Now the purpose of that is all I have to do now is just turn the piece, wait for the uh, blade to bite, and then just start off in the next direction on the point. Now this is going to get a little tricky when I get over to this point here. There. Now once again it's the same process, back it back through the cut over to here, but the uh, only difference is, is I'm going to have to cut a little uh, relief to be able to um, spin the blade around. So that way I can have room to move the part, or, part around. Luna, stop batting at my knee. Now since this piece has several more points in various uh, directions, I just clear out the pieces that are already cut. That way I can move the piece to wherever I need to to get back at those points. Alright, well, I hope this short little video helps you, um, and as always, guys, more to come.